All right, I gotta press okay. Hello, everybody. I hope you are having a wonderful new year. Um, today, I don't have a reference picture because we're creating jellyfish. And it's a little bit, um, I think it's a little bit easier this way. So if I just teach the structure of the creature and then we can put them all over our page. Okay, so the first thing that we should get started with is the background. But first, um, we're working in acrylics today, so I'll just wait for everybody to um, go grab their painting things. So you need your set of acrylics. You need um, a water container and some brushes. If I can get this thing. Okay, let's get started. So um, welcome back everybody after uh, long and restful holidays. Uh, today we're creating a jellyfish. So let's begin. We don't have a reference picture today, but that's okay. Before our background, we need to create um, a dark background today because jellyfish are mostly translucent, so the body of the jellyfish will be um, mostly white. Okay, so the first thing uh, we need to do is create our background color. So we need a blue. Also, May, you know I prepared um, over Christmas those little little yeah. gift boxes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um maybe we should let them know that if they didn't come to pick it up they can grab that sometime yeah yeah we can do so that at the end of the lesson yeah okay sure so is, is that blue color yes they're both blue you can use whatever blue that you have or you can even use purple but um you need a dark color uh, uh, sorry, uh, okay. So we have our blue and uh, you can add a little bit of brown to your uh, Can you say uh, jellyfish in Chinese? I don't, I don't know how to say jellyfish in Chinese. I don't either. <laughs> it's like, a, what is jellyfish in Chinese? Yeah, uh, teacher, my blue yes. is not as dark as yours. So what That's should I do? okay. You should try adding, uh, you can add some black or some brown to it and see if it makes a difference, but only a little bit. Okay. Hmm. This, this one is blue and black and the brown and the red color, four color. Four colors, you just put it on your page or your um, mixing palette. Okay. And don't forget, you need white. You always need white. Oh, okay. five, five, five colors. So, red, 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 Ah, uh, Henry Shamga. 
，你叫咩名啊？啊，岑国安啊 ，Henry Sun。心啊！如果你冇你冇画画嘅材料啊，阵间你打电话俾我，你有我电话未？冇啊！啊，你写低。OK， 几多号？四零四零三。四零三。五四七。五四七。六二一五。六二一五。我叫做阿 May。阿 May， 阿 May 姨系咪？啊，总之叫阿 May 得噶啦。系啊。我识得你啊 ，Henry。系咯，边位啊 ？Jenny 啊。哎 ，Jenny， 哎，你好，你好，你好。诶，你阵间打电话俾我，我安排材料俾你。好嘅，好嘅，唔该。Okay, sorry, Jenny. No problem. Okay, let's get started with the background. So it's mostly dark blue. It will be darker at the bottom. So I have、um, my blue here. Logo. Put the top for me, Yama. Okay, and you just start putting it into the page. I'll move this away. So it will be darker at the bottom and lighter up here. Excuse me, the color is it the dark blue? Yeah, we have dark blue, so I'm using blue, but、okay. I've mixed a little bit of brown in it to get、um, just a little、oh, bit、okay. darker color. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. As we get towards the top,、uh, we can add some white to the mix. So that we get a little bit of a lighter color. Okay, and then I want my sides over here、um, to be a little bit darker. So I'm going in with my darker blue.
And we want to make sure that our page is not too wet um, because our jellyfish are going over the background. And I want um, this top part here to be white, mostly white. Okay, so we get something like this. Okay, we'll just give everybody a second to finish up the background. Um, I will let my dog outside. <laughs> Okay, now we can add a little bit more detailing into the background before we get started with the actual jellyfish. So with the remainder blue on the palette, um, I'm adding some white, just trying to get this off-white color. So it's not pure white. And ocean waves are mostly in a horizontal motion. So they're not vertical, so you'll be painting horizontal lines. And just imagine that you have a beacon of light and it's coming from the center here. So it will be brighter near the top. 
and leave some of the blue hanging out. I think this part is mostly just to add um, a little more depth to the background, but overall it's still very abstract. So we're not going for super realistic. So uh, we can go back later to add brighter white highlights, but we're trying to keep it pretty soft for now. And we can always go back in with blue if we feel that some areas are too light or too dark or whatever. So you can bring some blue back in if you feel like you add you added too much white.
So right now I'm just playing with the horizontal lines. Remember the ocean is just side to side lines. No, it's a little bit too dark. So with this one, you're just layering the color um, side to side. You can alternate between blue and white. It's like, um, almost like tiger stripes. Okay, at this point, if you switch to a smaller brush, you can add some white highlights. 
into the top of the water here. You might need to add a little bit of blue because uh, the white is quite blinding. But you don't need to do this if you're happy with the way that the water, lo water looks. So up here, um, my white is stronger, but I'm still leaving blue spots. And it's all, uh, it's quite abstract.
Mm, this part is, I think it's too bright. Just keep adding your um, random spots of white until you feel like, oh, this is, this is complete.
Okay, so we'll just take a minute here and allow everyone to play with the highlights on top. Juni? Yes. This almost looks like one of those ultrasound pictures. <laughs> All we need is a baby. <laughs> it, yeah, you're right. No, you're <laughs> We're adding the baby. That's just, just yeah, just from the screen, it looks like one of those ultrasound pictures. But in blue. Yeah. But it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's an abstract ultrasound, everyone. That's what you should title the YouTube video. Okay, we can begin with the jellyfish. So the jellyfish has, here's some fun trivia. Um, the three, three main parts. This, uh, the head part, it looks like a bell. Um, it's called the bell. So we can begin with the bell of the jellyfish. You can pretty much place it anywhere. So we can sketch it out in white and you can make it as large as you want. It doesn't really matter um, because these, these animals come in every shape, every size. So whatever you want. So I'll begin. I think mine will be uh, facing sideways. And the shape is like, a mushroom. So mine will be facing this way. And just begin with the light sketch. It's like a U, but a wide umbrella U, if that makes any sense at all. So 
hopefully we can see that. So the tentacles will go this way. I want to leave the top part here translucent. So I will fill in about halfway. Let's see if we can get this blended. If you use a dry brush, or if you add a little bit of water to your brush, or a dry one, you can try to blend. Okay, and then down here, We are going to create some lines like this and again back with the brush here it's a little bit wet i'm going to try to soften these lines so they're not as harsh I might need to bring some of the blue back in. I think mine is a little bit too white here at the bottom. Just play with it. Excuse me, May Lausha. Yes. Nihao. Uh, I, I think it's useful if you were to Google the jellyfish picture. Uh, 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 this is the bell of the fish, right? That's what this thing is called. Uh, can, can you turn it the right, right way up so that they can actually see that it's a jellyfish? Sure. We'll do it oh. like ah, this. Right? This one. 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 
Three Wu. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Looks like the reference picture is needed. Uh, <coughs> Okay, we can create this part right here. So the tentacles, there's two kinds. This one right here um, is called the oral arms for some reason. And they're in the center of the jellyfish. They're not as well defined, so they're like squiggly lines. So going in with the white, you can create some thick squiggly lines in the center of this creature. Okay, something like that. And there's not really any definition to this part right here. For the actual tentacles, I think we should do it in pink. So if you mix red with lots of white, you get a light pink color. You can try a different color as well. They're, they come in all sorts of colors, but I like the contrast. So the tentacles themselves are very well defined lines. Some jellyfish have tiny tentacles, but this one uh, is quite long.
The jellyfish is so well defined. Okay. So the tentacles themselves, they're just lines. You can play with it. I think it looks better if we don't have too many. Just try to keep the lines really skinny. That one's really thick. And there's no wrong way to do this. Just remember that this thing is in the water, so its tentacles are sort of all over the place. They're not well defined. If you're feeling adventurous, you can mix up a darker pink and go into the ones you already painted along the, along the side. Just one side so that you get um, some shadows going on.
Now I have white left over. So I'm going in and just making some parts brighter. Oh, I think I will try something. So with white, um, with lots of water, I'm just dragging my wet brush down. You need lots of water for this part so you don't get too much wet. And I'm going to create some sun beams. So if we pretend like the sun is coming in from right here, the beams will go this way, this way, this way. Just makes it a little more interesting to look at. So you don't want too much, not too much, just a little bit.
Okay, so if you like it as it is, you can leave it, but I will give him a friend. So I'm going to make another one right I think here. This corner. I'm gonna make him another friend. And these, this part right here. This is so nice, Juni. Thank you. It's a little more abstract, this one is, I think. Hey, Tita, could, yeah. could, you, could, you, could you move a little bit up? I can see you draw something. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. You still have more water. Thank you, Sao Ying. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank I you. can yeah. see. I didn't know there was more at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. It's a little tricky with the phone because my phone is, um, the screen is facing the ceiling. Yeah. So, I cannot see. So you guys have to tell me if if it moves or uh, something is out of the camera. You probably can have a second device there, like a iPad or something that shows you that you can log into Zoom and then you can see what everyone else is seeing. Oh, good idea. You know what? I will double Zoom next time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
if, if you need an extra device, I can, I can lend you one. Oh, it's okay. I have one. Mm -hmm. I got it. Okay. Uh, I I didn't know it's going to be a second one. <laughs> I, I know. Like, I didn't leave room for that. Yeah. Okay. You can put it on the other side, or you can put right. it in the corner. No, you can put it up here. It's already too crowded. <laughs> uh, then you can just leave it as it yeah. is. I can just leave it. Your picture is very beautiful. It is. It is Thank very you. very beautiful. Yes, very, very beautiful, amazing. To be honest, I want to add another one, but <laughs> I think it will be too, too much, too many things. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> 嗯, are you are you done? She's asking. I am done, I think. <laughs> okay.